Everyone knows Obama's birth certificate is a forgery. Within hours of Obama releasing a PDF of his long-form birth certificate on April 27, 2011, it was found to have an endless amount of anomalies, including multiple layers, eight different fonts, misspelling on the registrar's stamp, just to mention a few of the dozen or so anomalies. The long-form birth certificate, along with Obama's Selective Service form, after an extensive forensic analysis, were declared to be forgeries by Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Arpaios on March 1, 2012. On close examination of the evidence, we are prepared today to say we believe probable cause exists indicating that forgery and fraud may have been committed not only in President Obama's long form birth certificate, but more disturbing evidence suggests that another fraud may have been committed regarding his selected service registration card. At the very least, I can tell you this, based on all of the evidence presented and investigated, I cannot, in good faith, report to you that these documents are authentic. My investiga investigators believe that the long form birth certificate was manufactured electronically and that it did not originate in a paper format as claimed by the uh, White House. But the birth certificate issue has been a dead end for conservatives wanting to oust the forger in chief, Barack Obama. Until now, two seemingly unrelated events have occurred. One, the mysterious death of the woman who certified Obama's birth certificate in 2011, Hawaii Department of Health Director Loretta Fuddy. And two, Larry Clayman's smackdown of NSA spying where Clayman on December 16, 2013, successfully won a lawsuit before federal court declaring NSA spying on Americans' phone calls to be unconstitutional. Fuddy died under mysterious circumstances when a small plane carrying nine people went down in the waters off the coast of Molokai, Hawaii on December 11th. Strangely, Fuddy was the only one that died and officials are hiding details of the crash from the public. What has been released has been contradictory and full of anomalies. Additionally, officials are pushing back against calls for a full-scale autopsy to be performed on Fuddy. This development has pushed Obama's birth certificate back into the limelight and Obama's handlers are worried. But what really has the powers that be, Obama's puppeteers, scared is Larry Clayman. The NSA lawsuit is important but small change to Obama's handlers. It's Clayman's lawsuit that he filed in June 2013 before the Alabama Supreme Court where it was found Obama was peddling multiple birth certificates. That has Obama scared. Two different versions of Obama's birth certificate were submitted during the trial, among them the one posted by Obama on whitehouse.gov on April 27, 2011. The other one submitted by Alabama Democrats during the trial casting light on the birth certificate's anomalies. Despite the fact that a judge beholden to Obama threw out Clayman's lawsuit because Clayman was the first to skillfully argue that the NSA was violating the Constitution, everyone from pundits to politicians are now looking at Clayman's lawsuit questioning Obama's eligibility and are now questioning the validity of the birth certificate. And the powers that be are scared. In fact, they're terrified. This was evidenced while Clayman was being interviewed on CNN after his astounding win against the NSA. CNN, long to be known as a White House front along with MSNBC, tried to do a hit piece on Clayman, flashing the term birther underneath his image, painting him as a nutcase while at the same time trying to shut him up. In other words, this case is based on Larry Clayman's tinfoil hat paranoia about the uh, NSA being after him. 
He had some fantasy that the NSA was after him. This case is not about Larry Klayman. It's about the metadata program that affects everybody. But the idea that Larry Klayman is the representative is simply outrageous because he you know is what, a Jeffrey, professional litigant respond. and lunatic who should not be a representative of the very important issues of this case. Because yeah, this is not I about here. You, you have come here, on. Don. You've come you on and you made this here. about you. It's not about you, the complaint. You, you wanted to come. No, I'm not going to argue with me. you. Thank you. Can we you get him off, please? Me. Can you please? Can we please remove him from the screen? Right. You're, please you're remove a him from the screen. member of the ACLU. You believe in free speech, right? Can we please remove him from the screen? For and there's another reason Obama's handlers are scared of Larry Klayman. Because Congress has refused to remove the forger-in-chief, Barack Obama, who constantly flouts the Constitution, who embraces the Koran and Muslim extremists, who has directed the NSA to spy on Americans, who has set up a police state with an out-of-control TSA and DHS, claiming is calling for revolution, a real revolution where the American people demand Obama put his Koran down and leave the White House now. I call upon all of you to wage a second American nonviolent revolution, to use civil disobedience, and to demand that this president yes. leave town. To put the Quran down, to get up off his knees, yes. and to figuratively come up with his hands out. Up.